Yo, what's going on everyone? It's your boy Nelly Nelf from Hoop Life. Today we have a super highly anticipated sneaker review on the Nike LeBron 21s. LeBron is heading into his 21st season in the NBA and he's still regarded as a top 5 player in the league. A lot of people may disagree with that but his shoes are definitely top 5 for sure. In my hand I have the Akoya colorway which is inspired by the precious pearl Akoya which is dedicated to LeBron's daughter Ziri that emits both high luster and exquisite beauty. The shoe features a light gray, not white, with orange accents where the design and color scheme drew inspiration from their father-daughter relationship. I don't know how I feel visually with the LeBron 21s. There's times where I look at it, I'm like, yeah, that's a pretty good looking shoe. But then there's also times where I'm looking at it like it doesn't look that good, especially in specific colorways. Man, there are certain colorways where the shoe just looks so horrible based on the materials that they use for that colorway. There's one that looks like a latex rubber glove. For sure, you look at the LeBron 20s last year, man. That is a good looking shoe. Heck of a performance hoop shoe. But you look at the 21, you know, they kind of like made it a little sleeker. This one is chill. This one is like not crazy in terms of colorway. It's kind of a clean, you know, light gray. Like it may look white on camera or in pictures, but it's actually like a very light gray. It's not white. But there's some pretty cool details on the shoe. Uh, it's definitely a cleaner look. But, you know, the LeBron 20 was a heck of a performance hoop shoe. Let's see if the LeBron 21 can live up to that. As always, we're going to start off with the traction. The LeBron 21 features a creamy translucent rubber outsole with a unique multi-directional traction pattern similar to that of the LeBron 20s. Let me start by saying that the LeBron 21 traction is not very good. I was slipping and sliding countlessly in these. I even did the splits three times. And this is on courts that are usually good in terms of grip. I had no issues in terms of my other rotational hoop shoes hooping in these court, but the LeBron 21s, man, was it a scary sight. I felt like the only way I was able to get good grip on the traction is when I stopped really hard on the ground, planting my foot and the shoe into the floor to maximize the grip. But that's not good because I'm very soft and nimble on my feet where I move quickly and lightly, but that actually led me to slip a lot in multiple directions. There is not a lot of space between the lines of the traction pattern which led to the shoe picking up a lot of dust on dirtier courts. Also, these don't do very well outdoors. The outsole pattern is very soft and the grooves are very thin. Traction was very disappointing on the 21s after the 20s were so incredible. Traction 2.5 out of 5. Moving on to the materials, the LeBron 21 features a combination of textile, fly wire, and leather which is designed to provide a more comfortable and supportive fit. It has dimensional lightweight mono mesh on the upper which is durable and contained. The perforated foam tongue is quilted while the heel has an exposed construction on the side. There are also perforations in between the mesh with ventilation on both sides providing good breathability. The materials are slightly more lightweight compared to last year's model, but I can't really say that I'm the biggest fan of it. It's thicker, stiffer, and not very flexible. However, it does do a good job in helping contain your foot during explosive movements. The materials do take some time to break in, and after breaking them in, they do conform to your foot a little better, but I personally like the materials of the 20s better. The materials definitely are more premium on the 21s, but to me, it's not the best nor the most durable. As you can see, the toe box, I already have some scuffs, and on the side, I don't know, man. Is that separation I see? It's not separating yet, but you can see like it's not glued that well. The more I hoop in it, it's gonna separate soon. Materials, three out of five. For support and lockdown, the mesh has been reinforced with a 360 degree zonal flywear cabling system along with an easy lacing system that pulls the side of your feet for optimal containment. A top loaded strong plastic plate helps keeps you steady and gives you more snap when taking off. The ankle collar is very well padded that provides a comfortable secure fit all around your ankles. The shoe definitely does a really good job in terms of lateral containment. The materials do wrap around your foot quite nicely. It has a really wide base and the midfoot shank does a good job with stability where I didn't feel like my foot was going to roll over on lateral movements. And the Nike Sphere inside of the heel molds to your foot which improves support the more you play in it. The only downside I would say is that the laces are pretty thick which leads to them being frequently untied so you guys might have to double knot or even triple knot them. Overall, the support and lockdown are some of the better aspects of the shoe. Support and lockdown, four out of five. Moving on to the cushion, the LeBron 21 has a zoom turbo bag in the forefoot and a 13 millimeter zoom bag in the heel paired with a Cushlon 2.0 midsole that is soft and springy to help ensure a pillowy feel. 
The Zoom Turbo unit in the forefoot is top loaded, so it's right under your foot, which feels really nice. It's very responsive and bouncy. The cushioning really supports landing and impact protection, and it gives you a propulsive feeling based on how explosive LeBron's game is. The Kushlan midsole also feels really nice where it gives you a light, low to the ground feel, giving you agile fluidity and explosiveness without excess weight. The cushioning setup is soft enough to give you good comfort while also firm enough to give you that bounce and explosiveness. The cushioning by far is my favorite part of the shoe and just like the LeBron 20s, this cushioning setup is one of the best and versatile setups out there. Cushion 4.5 out of 5. As far as comfort and size fit goes, the LeBron 21s I would say run true to size. They are a little bit snug in the beginning where it does take some time to break in, but after breaking them in, they do loosen up a little bit. And for all the white footers out there, y'all might have to go up a half size, but like I always said, I do recommend for all of y'all to go try them out in store. In terms of comfort, I would say that the shoe does feel quite comfortable except one issue. The tongue right here really dug into my leg every time I hooped in them. I don't know if it's because of the stiff material or if the tongue is quite stiff, but that did give me quite some discomfort. But besides that, the cushioning and the materials, overall, it's fairly comfortable. Comfort and size fit, 3.5 out of 5. And as far as pricing goes, the LeBron 21 retails for a steep $200. Not very surprised, you know, as LeBron being one of the best players in the NBA and the face of Nike. Therefore, his shoes has a lot of tech, and with a lot of tech, comes a high price tag. Definitely would suggest for y'all to cop these maybe on a discount or at the outlets when they get there because $200 is just a lot of money, all right? And for my overall rating, I'm gonna give the Nike LeBron 21s a score of 3.5 out of five. The LeBron 21 was kind of all over the place. You know, the traction and the materials aren't the greatest in my opinion, but the cushion, the support and lockdown was incredible. Although the shoe does have its pros and cons, it does well for a variety of different types of hoopers, whether you're a big hooper or a small hooper. It's hard for me to suggest to y'all to cop these, especially at the hefty price tag. Definitely, like I said, if you're able to cop these at a discount or, you know, at the outlets, these are a solid hoop shoe. So I think, you know, if you are a true LeBron fan, y'all definitely probably going to cop these. But, you know, in terms of a basketball performance aspect uh, in a hoop shoe, I think the LeBron 20s are a better bet than these. But hey, everybody has their own opinions. Uh, y'all can definitely try it out for yourselves. You guys let me know, you know, how you guys like the 21s, all right? You know, but personally, I am not the biggest fan. Hope you guys enjoyed that sneaker review on the Nike LeBron 21s. Let me know down in the comment section below what are some of y'all thoughts on the 21s. Do you guys like them or do you guys dislike them? And for those of you guys who have hooped in the LeBron 21s, how well did it perform for you guys? Did you guys agree with some of the things I said or disagree with some of the things I said? And lastly, let me know what other sneakers you guys would like to see me review. Make sure to comment them down below. Follow me on all my social medias. Follow my other YouTube channels. All the links will be in the description box down below. And until next time, it's your boy Nelly Nell from Hooping Life, and I'm out. Peace. Yeah, I'm moving at high speed. Yeah, I'm moving at high speed.